So hello and welcome to a lightning talk in which we'll be trying to attempt, uh, mm, which, sorry, welcome to a lightning talk which is trying to attempt the teaching of template metaprogramming in five minutes with C++20 and ranges. So who knows Circle? Uh, a lot of people know. So uh, a few years ago, uh, Circle uh, allows us to do uh, rotate using uh, C++, Circle C++, in which we're able to uh, apply the STL. So here we see the meta keyword in which we are able to sort the ranges using the meta types. So uh, you can see that here like we have the, like there's a lot of boilerplate, but in, all in all, it's quite simple. We just apply STD rotate from STL. So that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, can we do that with C++20? Yes, we can. So that's the solution for C++20 in which we'll do the type list and uh, template metaprogramming using STD uh, uh, and ranges. So imagine that we have the list which we do rotate and the rotate implementation is just the rotate of ranges. So that compiles and that works uh, with C++20. It's powered by the library uh, which covers all the boilerplate but it is available uh, and it's quite powerful. And compilation times are pretty much the same as MP11. Uh, there are cases which it is a bit slower but there are cases where it's just destroying the MP11 as well. Uh, where it's just much faster to compile. So I think that's powerful. But, you know, C++ trying to catch up with uh, Circle. Circle is not, you know, going away anywhere. Uh, so the Circle at the moment can do something like that. So that's the rotate with Circle, uh, the newest version of it. So we have a list. We do TS rotate of like one element uh, uh, to the left and all of that. And that's it. So that circle, uh, the, not, not the classic version, the new version, which uh, we can do a lot of metaprogramming much simpler than, than before. But there's still hope for C++ because there is this uh, proposal from uh, uh, General Spark declaration and usage, which allows a lot of uh, circle template metaprogramming in C++, uh, which is also pretty cool. So, I just wanted to show some other use cases with C++20 we can uh, also apply. So let's try to do a slice uh, using the STD ranges at compile time. So we have a slice, takes the list, begin and end. We have the list, we pipe it to the drop and the take. And notice the underscore C because we, have, we don't have conceptual parameters so we have to do a bit of magic, but not as much. And that's it, that we can, we, we can apply it to uh, List, so that's MP list in double float short. Uh, we want to slice the first uh, up to the third. We get double and float out of that. We can do the type of, of that if you you know don't want to create anything because variant you know you don't want to uh, create a, an object. So we apply it. We do the type of. We get the same. We can do even more. We can have a value list. It's the same approach. One, two, three, four. We slice. And notice that we're still using the same function. So this like write it once, apply multiple times. We can do the same with the fixed string with C++20. So we have a foobar here, we just slice it, we get the OO in that case. Uh, what is really cool in my opinion though, uh, we can actually apply it to the tuples as well. So we have tuple of one, two, three, four, uh, and we say slice it, and that will give us the compile time version of two and three. So notice that uh, we actually have a tuple of values. There's no like integral constant or anything like that. We can do that in C++20 as well. And we can do that at runtime as well, still the same function. So notice that we have argc instead of one and two, and that works as well. So we just pipe it to, to slice. So yeah, let's embrace template metaprogramming without actually doing templates. And yeah, if, you, if you're interested, the, that's the library and that's the circle. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>